Hello, this is Michael with Manhattan Rare Books. And what we have for you today is a huge, crazy, and wonderful book by the celebrated Dutch designer and book artist, Irma Boom. Well, it comes in this original black box and cellophane bag. But let me put that aside for the moment and let's focus on the book. It's generally referred to as the Think Book and has a very unlikely origin story. The Dutch trading company, SHV Holdings, was coming upon their 100-year anniversary and wanted to do something really special. Well, instead of hosting you know, a big party or corporate retreat, although they may have done those too, they decided to commission a book to mark the milestone. I mean, a corporate anniversary book? Now that sounds boring. But not, as we will see, in the hands of Irma Boom. SHV hired Boom and gave her an unlimited budget. Well, that must have been nice. And their only directions were to make something unusual and make something that would last for at least 500 years. After five years of work, traveling the world, interviewing employees, going through the corporate archives, Boom came up with this. And it's most certainly unusual. Let's take a look. And the book is full of all sorts of crazy things. You can see they have stamps right here at the beginning. It has bits of history, philosophical questions, jokes. I'm mean, take a look. This is anywhere you look. There's something unusual. Remember, it's supposed to be a corporate history, but I mean, she puts different languages. I love the uh, the random questions that are here throughout maps. Bits of history. It's like walking through the century of all different sorts. What is your friend's favorite food? There's a lot of those isolated questions which really get you to, appropriately, think. It almost incidentally, it seems to have a history of SHV on it, in it. Everywhere you look, it's really, it's really a wild book. It's over 2,000 pages. It's organized, and I use that term loosely here, in reverse chronological order. But it doesn't have any page numbers. There's no table of contents or index. It's designed for you to flip through it, just like we are here, at random and kind of experience it. And, you know, I'd say it's a lot of fun to do that. Every time I've picked it up, I've had a different experience with it. That's a good question. Well, there's some fun things about the book. It ultimately cost 1.3 million euros to produce. And Boom said the five years of work left her exhausted, more than 20 kilograms heavier and with agonizing backaches. It started out as a dream project, she said, but became a nightmare. Boom had to invent this uh, ultra-durable cotton paper. Remember, it's supposed to last 500 years. And it has a steel plate strengthening the spine. So even though it's really fat, you can move it around without fear of breaking anything. There are eight red bookmarks here, you see. And supposedly, if you place them correctly, and I don't know how to do that, it reveals the title Think Book. And also... The story is that if this book gets a lot of wear, and again, I don't plan on doing that, the words SHV, What Tomorrow, appear on the cover. I don't know how that's supposed to happen. And the cover you can see is bright white, and Boom actually wanted fingerprints to make it dirty over time. She thought it would then resemble coal dust on the cover, and coal was one of SHV's industries. Check this out. The four edges, as you see, are highly decorated. If you press them down here, this way, I don't know if you can see that. You see the lines of a poem. The other way is just, it's really a tulip field. Very, very cool. It's amazing. There's just so much to discover in this book. Thanks. Please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions.